No doubt, when it comes to being an athlete, experience is really important. However, in Formula One racing, some new drivers have done amazing things right from the beginning of their careers. They've either come close to winning championships or performed exceptionally well in their not-so-great cars. It's hard to mention all of them, but here are eight rookies who had really impressive starts in Formula One. Back in 2001, a racer named Kimi Raikkonen stepped into Formula One with Sauber. Even though he had only done 23 single-seater races, people weren't sure if he had enough experience. But guess what? In his very first race at the 2001 Australian Grand Prix, he finished an amazing sixth. Kimi didn't stop there. Throughout the season, he surprised everyone by getting three more good finishes, even reaching fourth place in races like Austria and Canada. The tricky part. He did all this in a sober car that wasn't the most reliable or the fastest. By the end of the season, Kimi not only grabbed the 10th spot in the World Championship with 9 points, just a bit behind his more experienced teammate Nick Heidfeld, but he also caught the eye of McLaren, securing a spot with them for the 2002 season. This was just the beginning, he later went on to win the championship in 2007 with Ferrari. Michael Schumacher's first race at Spa was like a movie, he qualified 7th, a big surprise. Sadly, a problem with the clutch meant he had to retire on the very first lap, but everyone noticed his talent. Even though Jordan wanted to keep him, Schumacher chose to join Benetton. The next year in 1992, his first full season was like a blockbuster. Driving for Benetton, he finished third in the championship, beating big names like Ayrton Senna and standing on the podium eight times. Schumacher's breakthrough performance included his first podium in Mexico and his first win in Belgium, the same track where he had made his debut just a year earlier. These early successes hinted at the incredible career that was about to unfold, making Michael Schumacher one of the all-time greats in Formula One. Ayrton Senna finished ninth in his first season in Formula One. Now, finishing ninth in the championship might not sound like a big deal, but there's a lot more to the story, especially when you peek into his performances with Tolman, a team many thought wouldn't be turning heads. Senna ended up with the same points as Nigel Mansell, who was driving a supposedly better Lotus. That's impressive. What makes it even cooler is that out of the 14 races that year, Senna only finished six times. Mechanical troubles showed up in eight races, trying to throw him off his game. Now, let's talk about podiums. Senna grabbed three of those shiny top three finishes in his rookie year. The most jaw-dropping one was in Monaco in the rain. Starting way back in 13th place, he climbed all the way up to second, chasing down leader Alan Prost like a speed wizard, four seconds faster per lap. The race got cut short for safety reasons, but it left everyone thinking, this Senna guy is something special. So, sure, ninth place in the championship doesn't scream super impressive at first, but Senna's first season was like a roller coaster of talent, surprises, and a hint of the greatness that was just getting started in the world of Formula One. Jackie Stewart made quite a splash in his first Formula One season with BRM. It was like fireworks on the track as he clinched the third spot in the championship, rubbing shoulders with legends like Jim Clark and his teammate Graham Hill, who happened to be the world champion. But here's where it gets really exciting. Stewart didn't settle for just being on the podium. Nope, he went full throttle and snagged his first ever win at the Italian Grand Prix, which happened to be the eighth race of the season, and that was just the beginning. Throughout the season, he didn't just stop at that Italian victory. Stewart added five more podium finishes to his racing resume. Little did we know, this debut season was just the kickoff to an incredible career that would see Stewart grabbing the championship not once, not twice, but three times. But before that, we know you wouldn't want to miss out on more exclusive content like this. So make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to stay updated with all the latest in the world of Formula One. Let us move on. The name Villeneuve sends a shiver down the spine of Formula One fans. Jack started his F1 journey in 1996 after ruling the Champ Car Series in 95. Picture this. He joined the Williams team, the kings of the track that season. Right out of the gate, he was so close to snatching the champion's trophy. His debut race was a thriller. Victory was almost in his hands, but team orders switched things up, letting Damon Hill pass. Then, a pesky oil leak played a spoiler. 
But Jack roared back and snagged his first win at the Nürburgring, just his fourth race. And guess what? He wasn't done. Three more victories lit up his debut season. Now, the climax in Japan. Jax was trailing Hill by nine points, with ten up for grabs. It was a championship drama at its best. But mid-race, disaster struck one of Jack's wheels decided to take a break. Hill claimed the title, but Jack's first season was like a roller coaster of excitement, ups and downs, and the promise of something epic on the horizon. Oscar Piastri's arrival on the Formula One grid was nothing short of spectacular, and for a multitude of reasons, the anticipation was through the roof. With an illustrious junior driving career that included conquering both the FIA Formula 3 and Formula 2 championships in consecutive seasons, Piastri had motorsport enthusiasts buzzing with excitement. Alpine expected him to fill Fernando Alonso's seat, but McLaren had other plans. In a shocking move, Piastri stepped in for fellow Aussie Daniel Ricciardo at McLaren, creating one of the most talented driver duos in F1. Now, let's talk about his rookie season. It was a Max Verstappen show, with Red Bull winning 86% of the races, including 10 straight victories. Crazy, right? So, it was a tough gig for Piastri to shine in such a dominant season. But guess what? He rocked it. His rookie season points, a popping 97, stand as the second highest ever. Piastri faced off against Verstappen's wizardry, but he didn't just hold his ground, he soared above expectations. Piastri's rookie season wasn't just good, it was sensational, setting the stage for a rising star in the fast lane. Lewis Hamilton's debut season in Formula One was nothing short of sensational, making history in ways that still echo in the sport. No one had ever grabbed the Drivers' World Championship in their first season, but Hamilton nearly pulled off the impossible, falling short by just one point. Back in 2007, McLaren was the place to be, with double world champion Fernando Alonso teaming up with the young gun Hamilton. Hamilton, whom had been with McLaren since his teenage years, burst onto the scene with pure dynamism. He notched up an incredible nine consecutive podium finishes, leading the championship after just four rounds at the age of 22 a record-breaking feat. Let's talk about records. Hamilton wasn't just there for the ride, he was rewriting the F1 history books. Six pole positions, four wins, and a whopping 109 points in his debut season. All records that still stand tall today, even after they tinkered with the point system in 2010. The season had its high point in Japan, where Hamilton conquered the rain in spectacular fashion. Victory seemed certain, but a rookie hiccup in the next race in China opened the door for Kimi Raikkonen and Alonso to challenge for the title in Brazil. It was a roller coaster race, and a rare mechanical glitch in Brazil dashed Hamilton's title dreams, handing the crown to Raikkonen. Heartbreak for Hamilton, absolutely, but guess what? Redemption was just around the bend. The very next year, he became the youngest world champion at the time, setting the stage for an epic career that would define Formula One greatness. And from that point on, well, you know the story Lewis Hamilton, the legend who turned F1 history into his own incredible narrative. Do you think any other rookie driver can surpass Hamilton's debut F1 season? Share your thoughts in the comments below. That will be all for today's video. Thanks for staying tuned. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so that you can always watch more amazing videos like this. See you in the next video.